just about enough of that for insurance. There we go. One side is up. Pins are starting to come out. The other set of pins on. And there it is. Connector finally off the board. Now I've got a lot of cleanup to do and a lot of cleaning down to do before I can take this off. That's a little mangled up in there and it's probably pretty hard to see inside. Some of that's mangled, but some of it. One of those pins in particular was actually bent back in there long before I started messing with this, which was the original reason for replacing this one. Now that I've got it down, I'm just going to do a quick comparison to see if those features do in fact line up. It looks like they do. Now, one of the reasons that this made this difficult is if you can see it on the pin, the outside shell pin on that side. There is a kink on there, and I clipped the top part of it off, but that kink basically goes in and spreads out to keep it in place so that you can solder the rest of it on. So once I clean this up, I'll be able to pop a little flux in there, put the connector on, heat it up. So, for future reference, you want to go about 380 with some flux, 380 degrees Celsius with some flux, 
uh, in about two or three minutes of good consistent heating, if you can, what seemed to eventually help there was actually cleaning up the solder to begin with and then taking some wick and taking off as much as you can, um, putting a little extra flux on there to make sure it helps flow and break that up. Start with the outside, give you some heat all the way across and then work it on these holes here, 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 and here. Um, you can actually start to see the, the solder start to move um, molten as the connectors work their way out. Now, let's see if this board should be cool enough. Okay. The other side of that board doesn't look too terribly bad. There's some flux and some gunk there, but it's nothing I can't clean up. There's a lot of dust on this board too. So once I get some actual alcohol in it and clean that up, we'll be ready to go. Uh, those holes, um, I want to clean up. Probably not going to get them cleaned out unless I've got some small wire to stick through to try and pull it out or do some fancy wick tricks. It's just not going to happen. Um, I may try and solder blob it and just do suck on a solder blob to create enough suction with a little ball on top to be able to pull it out. Um, it's not ideal, but it would work. And as long as I can get them clear enough to get the pins through with some flux after I clean them up, I don't see any major damage, even though there was quite a bit of heat. It overall, everything seems fairly well. There's a little bit of corrosion because there was a little bit of um, little piece of solder here because there was a little bit of uh, water in my um, alcohol but a good chunk of it seems to have burned off just in flux and heating with the hot air so that's good um, I'll touch up any areas I need to just to make sure it's clean get some higher proof alcohol um, perhaps a uh, acid brush um, just to give it a little scrub, but I, I don't think I'm going to need to scrub it. I think I can probably get most of it with just some Q-tips. And um, some good alcohol. So anyway, that's it. It's finally out. I'll let things pull down here. Shut down my bench for the night, and then tomorrow, I will clean the rest of that up and put the connector on.